My name is Derek Ray. With me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England defender Lee Dixon. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It is Bayern Munich facing Manchester City. One player slacks off and it all falls apart, though. Interesting match ahead of us. Bayern kick off. And they saw the situation developing. And that puts them in position. And that'll be offside. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Lovely ball over the top. Oh, that is a majestic goal! Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done. Well, we can see it again now, and it really is a difficult ball to defend against over the top and into space and you have to say with the finish to grace any game lovely calm classy strike right there so the action continues and City looking to offer a swift response to that setback City move it forward with purpose. Kimmich. Thomas Müller. Well, he's been ruled offside. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Well, that shouldn't really happen from a throw-in. Bayern have given it away. Gundogan in with a chance. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, goal behind Derek, and he's missed. It's a big miss. as though they had attacking momentum but not so really well played pass oh great vision Mares well he analyzes it you know I think he'll feel he shouldn't have taken on the shot from there well he definitely shouldn't have done the angle's all wrong he's got to look for other options David Alaba. And he's through here. Dangerous looking through ball. Well, unable to hold his run, and that's offside. Müller. Coman. Now Müller. And in with a real chance. No hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead. Well, he knows putting his team two up would have been a big, big move in this game. Attempting the through ball, just needs to stay calm. Not to be in terms of the finish. My name is Derek Ray. With me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England defender Lee Dixon. And we're fully convinced this game will live up to its billing. It's Inter 
taking on Chelsea. Game from the off, impose your game plan, and hopefully we get a good game. Martinez. And a look at the Chelsea starting eleven. Antonio Rudiger starts alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Mateo Kovacic starts with N'Golo Conte in the centre. And now they get the ball rolling. Brozovic. The ball with Martinez. Well, they couldn't keep possession. N'Golo Conte. James. Romelu Lukaku, a player who opposing defenders have got to keep tabs on. Lee, you'd expect that he'll have something to say for himself. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Has he got away with one there? Yellow card only. Was there a case for that to be red? Maybe an orange. Let's give him an orange. Well, certainly he looks surprised that's a yellow. And a long way out here. Well, that was close to free kick perfectionally. Yeah, just didn't quite get enough dip on it, did he? Over the wall, but just over the bar as well. Skriniar. Barella. Gagliardini. Now Lukaku. Lukaku! And taken cleanly by the goalkeeper. Marcos Alonso. Now they've lost it. Gagliardini has it. Martinez, well, it was never going to worry the keeper. Well, no wonder he's looking a little bit sheepishly at his teammates, head in a hand sort of moment. Mateo Kovacic. Rather than a free kick, it's advantage Chelsea. Excellent challenge. Brozovic. Barella has it. Timo Werner. And based on that challenge, you wouldn't be at all surprised if the referee reaches for his pocket. That will certainly mean a booking here. And now he's on a tightrope. Such a waste of a free kick when you miss as wildly as that. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Mount and they keep the ball advantage Chelsea it looks promising can they take the lead routine piece of goalkeeping for Handanovic Barella Gagliardini the ball with Martinez Lukaku. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Well, he really read that brilliantly. James. Werner. Here's Kovacic. Timo Werner. Given away by Chelsea. 
Excellent ball over the top. And he's in. Well, on the volley, that's not how he had planned it in his mind. And they have possession again. Now oh, they've given him too much space. Brozovic. What can he do from here? And Chelsea with the ball again. The first half here comes to an end. A really exciting night ahead of us here at the Santiago Bernabeu in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you commentary, and joining me is the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon, and getting ready for a potentially thrilling contest. It's Real Madrid taking on Liverpool. Range and he can thread a pass as well. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Ferlon Mendy plays with Carvajal as full Begins back. in goal. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander-Arnold in the fullback positions. And now they get the ball rolling. Lost possession. Tiago and it's a quality pass can he take advantage can they keep it out well threat about it he's in with a chance high quality defending It's a good Liverpool move in the making. Salah. Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Well, he's done really well with his angles there. Good reactions too. And he's broken free. Can he finish? And not cleared away properly. And I think the threat has been averted. Well, I thought we got a goal there, Derek, but the goalkeeper had other ideas. Still all square. Not a great pass. Chances on. Benzema! Goalkeeping of the very highest order. Oh, it was a great shot as well. Great shot, great save. Wijnaldum Roberto Firmino Alexander-Arnold The cross is on Thiago Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper Benzema wasteful with that one. Firmino. It's a good looking ball in behind. And there it is! The breakthrough! That will do nicely. Well, here's the replay. It's a really lovely through ball. And because he's on his own, he collects himself and he finishes it perfectly past the keeper. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Well, the coach can feel this game slipping away, I'm sure. Might need a plan B. So the match is restarted. 1-0 here. Liverpool. Go! 
con el 10, Mané. Well, they've given him too much space. No, not the best challenge. Goalkeeper's ball, the cross delivered too close to him. Wijnaldum unable to keep it. Karim Benzema. Look at Modric. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Real Madrid are totally dominating possession, but it's just whether they can convert that possession into clear-cut chances. You sense they need to pick up the pace a little, start utilising the wide areas more. The back line's doing a decent job. Hopefully the forwards can do that as well. And breaking at pace with Menace. Chance to cross. Well, so many possibilities. Not out of the woods yet. And intercepted it. He's got space. And routine for the keeper in the end. The cross far too close to him. And that is that half time here in the Spanish capital. And hello to you from a city that's never short of style. I'm talking, of course, about the French capital, Paris. We're at the Pac des Princes. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by Lee Dixon. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's Paris Saint-Germain versus Barcelona. This is what we expect from the Blaugrana. Mark andre Ter Stegen in goal. PK starts alongside Clément Langlais in the centre of defence. A potentially exciting match in store, and it's Paris Saint-Germain who kick off. Diallo. Kimpembe. Neymar. Verassi now. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. And Griezmann's in here. I'm not testing the keeper at all with that effort. Well, very close to seeing the opening goal, but the goalkeeper had other thoughts. Retaining possession proving difficult. Well, you get the feeling so many in attendance here have come just to see this man, Kylian Mbappe. Well, I love watching him. He's got quick feet, quick mind. He wants you to come close to you so he can get past you. So as defenders normally stand off him, and then he's got more time to pick the pass he wants, and he normally finds the best one. Paredes, Lorenzi, the cross is on, oh he's through here, well he stumped it out of there without much fuss, they've ceded possession, Barca, Paredes, in the right place to cut out the pass, And it's Messi going forward. What's he going to do next? Keane. Verratti now. PSG couldn't keep it. Longley. Paredes. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Neymar. Mbappe with it. Diallo. Options in the centre. Verratti. 
And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Neymar has a go here, and the keeper takes charge in dealing with the free kick. Serginho Dest. Now with De Jong. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Griezmann, and over the top it goes. Close shave. looking for the through ball and it all counts for naught Paredes Verratti now oh nice ball over the top to chase not a smart enough cross there but no attacker able to touch it Paredes Neymar Lorenzi on the ball and space to attack this looks promising it looked as though he almost forced it. and so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris Well, it's a venue that really is a delight to visit here in the Spanish capital, Madrid. We're at the Wanda Metropolitano Stadium. I'm Derek Ray here in the commentary position, and joining me will be Lee Dixon. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It's Atletico Madrid up against Ajax. I'm excited, Derek. Really looking forward to this game. Come on, bring it on. all he wants he's hungry for them he stays in front of the goal Derek it's not a coincidence that's why he scores so many it's alongside Jose Maria Jimenez in central defense Tomar Lamar starts alongside Marcos Llorente well, here's the starting lineup for Ajax this particular setup is becoming more and more in favor yes Derek one central striker two wingers will provide the And the contest begins. Joao Felix. And a fine tackle. Sebastian Allaire. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Hermoso. Lamar. Carrasco. Suarez. Joao Felix. Plenty to like about this Atletico move. Oh, he's through here. And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Well, here's the replay. It's a very neat piece of deception to get past the defender. And because he's on his own, he collects himself and he finishes it perfectly past the keeper.
So back underway with Atletico in charge. Edson Alvarez. Sebastian Allaire. Grafenberg. Slip short passing. Koke. Llorente. And on to Felix. He's in behind. Not troubling the keeper. Lamar. And over the middle towards Yannick Carrasco. Well, he's been ruled offside. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. It's a good-looking Atletico move in the making. Advantage Atletico. Suarez. Trippier. Opportunity it is. There's no escaping the fact that they really should be two in front. Well, you look back at games sometimes and you say, when was the defining moment? That could have been it. Well, he's doing everything in his power to help his team get over the line here. He's kicking every ball. Carrasco. Felix. And he's broken free. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now, and they just need to keep the concentration. Well, here it is, a striker's bread and butter, simple finish, but it's the positioning that gets him the goal. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Well, enjoy the good days as a coach. It could be a roller coaster ride, I can tell you that. So, 2 0 now. Goal del Atlético de Madrid. Con el 7, Joao Félix. Lisandro Martinez. Ryan Grafenberg. Klassen has it. Atletico have it once again. Well, look at those stats. Atletico enjoying the bulk of possession here. It's important to have strong, dominant players in your midfield, and they've got that. Just look at what that control gives you. High quality defending. Lisandro Martinez. Grafenberg. Already closing him down here. And good work from Atletico to win the ball back. Lamar. Koke with it. Toma Lamar. Here's Carrasco. Klassen. Can they hit on the break? Defenders need to cover, and he's through here. Oh, it might be. Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. Oh, surely. I must say, he's let himself down with really flabby finishing there. Yeah, he wasted opportunity from the short distance. You see the manager's frustration on the touchline. And there it is, the half-time whistle. 